And slight change in dynamics now in the room. It affects everyone differently when that wall gets lifted. Changes the acoustics in the room. Some players like it, and some players don't. Well, for the most part of this championship, this has been more than a half chance for Mark Williams, but it's been tough going this evening. Oh, yeah. Under circumstances, that's a terrific part. Really has been hard work. Whenever has got to the table, it's been very awkward. This is one of the few occasions this evening where there doesn't seem to be too much hard work to do. Can Mark Williams get back to that free-flowing, heavy scoring Seven. form he was in? Slight shake of the head there. Players play to such a high level. What he wanted to do there was play the other red. Then go into the pack, knowing full well we'd still be on the red, he just potted, so that's why he was slightly annoyed. So I may have to play into the bunch this time round. Yeah, that's the difference. When you're not at the table Mark all the Williams, time, 15. even the game's greatest players lose that little bit of touch and feel. Mark Williams, one. Well, that's a maybe a possible. Well, he has, he has chosen that red. How's the line? How's the pace? <laughs> Top mark, Jan Bintel. Can Yan Bingtao pot this red and avoid can into the black? Yes, he can. Just can't afford to leave him anything. And he's not happy. Just shake of the head. But either way, he's gained control back of the table. Yan Bingtao, one. Foul. The miss. They're the reds that in normal play you would try to rest on, but he can't play that shot here because the red that's loose will be potable for Bintao. So he's trying to just glance this loose red on the way past. And all things considered, it's a very good shot. And I think this red near the black spot will pot to this left hand middle pocket. It's very tight past the reds. But he would leave the red to the right of the pack, to the opposite middle pocket, so I may leave that. Played the double. He just isn't missing anything tonight. It's a remarkable performance from Jan Bintel so far. Everything he's looked at has turned to gold. <laughs> The other fascinating part about what Eight. Jan's done this evening, he's doing it to arguably the cleverest player on tour when it comes to intricacy and tactics and creativity. <laughs> yep, nicely played on the spot on red. Eleven. And as he pots one of the reds, We'll bring another one of the reds into 12. play, so provided he takes these in the right sequence, this could all work out very nicely. In potting this 19. red, he can run through, move the red next door, and that in turn will open up the path for the red underneath the pink. There you see it. 20. And when potting this red, it frees the path 27. for the red on the other side of the pink, certainly into the left hand middle pocket. 28. I think what's been impressive as well tonight, Joe, is to play like this from 6-2 behind, having had all day to think about it and suffer and stew, 35. for me makes it even more impressive. And his powers of concentration are so good. 36. 
look straight forward to knock the pink in and be on that red but when the pink's respotted it's going to be in the way so it looks like for this break to continue he's got to pot this pink and get back across to the left hand side of the table that was the intention not enough pace 42 Where's the cue ball? It's close. Foul. Jan Bintower, 42. Mark Williams, 4. Just forgot about the cue ball. You can see what he was trying to do. He was concentrating on putting the second red on the cushion. And just kind of forgot about the white. illustration of what we were saying he was so disappointed with his previous safety shot but he quickly puts it behind him forgets all about it and he's back at the table and now 33 Six. ahead and who would have thought at the start of play we'd be talking about Yan Bing Tao being ahead in this match but he's Seven. two balls away from that being the case Thirteen. Fourteen. So, there it is. What a performance this has been. Twenty. It's close. Yan Bing Tao, twenty. Mark Williams says they'll do. So Yan Bing Tao, very, very impressive, mature performance. Has turned this match on its head. Trail 6-2, now leads eight frames to seven. Mark Williams, four. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to see the boys exchanging laughs. We've we'll, we'll been played in very good spirit <laughs> so far this match. Jan just waiting there with his cue as if to say that's where the green was. I think Mark's just winded him up. Can you bring it up, please? Well, not one of Jan's best, but I think he might just be okay. Well, the red did pass the other red, so that was a poor shot from Jan being foul. Shouldn't have left Marcus sight at that one. But again, as has often been the case this evening, when he's come to the table, the table's been very difficult to score. Well, I think he's desperate to play the cannon to the black. <coughs> it's on from the green, but it's risky. He has tried to move it. How's the line? He did cannon it, but is he on a red? Oh. That was the risk. Does this red pass to the middle pocket? And if it does, what colour can you get on? Don't gift Yan Bing Tao a chance, because you know he'll take it. <coughs> Mark Williams, four. Wonder if Mark will be tempted to have a go at the red above and to the left of the pink spots possible. Did. He got very close to it. Now, where's that second red going? It's in the pocket. Goodness me. What a time for a slice of fortune. Close to the red, but once it's ran loose, it's hit the second red, which has hit the cue ball. Gone in the pocket, would you believe it? Whilst we were watching the replay, we played a terrible shot on the yellow. Good 
shot. Four. Good now. Can he get to the middle of the cue ball? He's bouncing this into the brown. He could knock the cue ball off the table. <coughs> oh, and that is an excellent positional shot. First class. Nine. Fourteen. Fifteen. Yeah, that's more like it. So now, can he just keep tight control of his cue ball? It's going to be difficult to win the frame from this visit. There's a few reds nicely in the middle of the table here, so could go some way to get him past the winning post. Twenty-one. But again, just creeping towards the side cushion. Nothing's gone perfectly to plan. Mark Williams, 21. Normally Mark Williams just drops these balls in, but again, we've mentioned it a few times. It's just purely because he's been starved of table time this evening. 1. If he can, he'll play the cannon to the black. No, it was too thin. That's okay. Six. It's going to be very difficult. Keep getting up right side of the blue every time. But you'd like to think if he could cannon the black. Seven. If he cannons the black at some stage, you'd like to think he'd knock at least one of those reds next to it towards a corner pocket. Mm, well, can he get through to the red once the blue's respotted? Twelve. Oh, he can. Just. Thirteen. Now I'm sure he'll play the nice gentle cannon to the black. Doesn't have to hit this hard. You'd think any cannon will knock at least one red on. Just falling a little awkward. 18. This one next to the cue ball is very, very thin. To this red just above the black it goes into left and right corner so whichever way he feels is the easiest way to get there or he's come with more pace so he's just landed in between 21. here that's riskier because he'll be leaving the other red on probably the shot that gives him the best chance of clearing the table but it's the more difficult part This evening, he really has played well. 29. 30. I'm not sure either of these reds pop. If he can land on one, he'll play it. Oh, he clearly thinks he can. 37. 38. Yeah, he raised his hand there. Do you know, I actually think he hit the other red first. You just watch the replay here. It's just grazed. That's the first red. That could have gone anywhere. It does go. He can play this super slow. And it would block the pocket should he miss it. 38. Well, that's what he tried. 38. It's rattled and so. Mark Williams back the chance to level things up. 1. Oh, look at this shot. Don't call them legends of the game for nothing. Great shot. Oh, 
Nine. Blue takes Mark five points ahead. Up to and including the blue. Fourteen. Eight frames all going into tomorrow's all important final session. Sixteen. Nineteen. So, 23. straightforward blue sleeve Yan Bing Tao needing one snooker to tie. And that will be a very, very relieved Mark Williams. He's stuck in there, nothing's gone his way. And it's very rare you can lose a session 6 2 at the Crucible and be a little bit happy, but I think he will be. And Mark Williams will get on off, having lost the session 6-2. With match all square, 8 each, going into tomorrow's final session. Good afternoon, everyone. And it's Mark Williams who gets the first frame underway. Yang Bing Tao, his safety success rate against Mark Selby was better. Unbelievable. And of course, Steve, Mark Williams, if he wants to, has got an unbelievable tactical game. Yeah, it was a surprise, though, wasn't it? Considering how well Mark had been playing that Yang Bing Tao. Early chance here for Mark. Reds. Seven. Twelve. Thirteen. This time, he's got the loose red, but I think he might go straight into the pink here. Yeah, it may have been important not to get a flick on the blue. Fantastic shot. Is there a plant, maybe? They're dead in line, so all he has to do is play to pot the first red and the second one will disappear. Well, that's, that's a bit careless, that. Mark Williams, 18. He should have made that. That was a pretty straightforward plant. Yeah, that's... That's quite a big mis misjudgment, actually. That wasn't the hardest plant in the world. One. Five. I oh, couldn't have hit that any better. And work around the pink Six. for this break. That's a little awkward. Yeah, nasty little Five. shot now. Thirteen. I could 
could just get past the green. That was less risky positionally. 18. It's not straightforward to get on the pink, but the black is available. Nineteen. Well, the highest available spot is the yellow. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Okay. That's a delightful little cannon there. Thirty-four. That pimple now coming into play. Looks very comfortable out there, doesn't he, Dennis? Forty. He has a wonderful temperament. For a twenty-two-year-old, that's for sure. Forty-one. Red obviously passes into the right corner. Forty-seven. Yeah, that Masters win was wonderful, but then the loss against Zing Tong in the German Masters, completely annihilated, was a worry. We thought, does it affect his confidence? The answer is no. We're well, starting 54. to get more difficult now. Just the one easy red available. 55. So he needs the pink and one more red to leave Mark Williams at the snooker's required stage. Now he just has to roll this along the cushion, but we know how tight the pockets are. He can drop this in. There's 44 in front, with 43 remaining. No. Ooh. He's hit it with a little bit of pace and he's going to wobble. I don't think the pockets this year have seemed that tight. Obviously, it's the same for both players. I'd still say they're Yankee tighter Tower. than the 80s <laughs> and maybe 90s, though. It's not far away. Pretty good effort. One. Eight. Mark, I think we'll just nod the referee. He concedes the frame. So it's Yang Bing Tao who takes the opening frame. Yeah, picking up on Stephen and Ken's points there on that plant. It's interesting. Nine ball pool players would really miss the opportunity, such as their understanding of side spin. And combination shots. Great response. Another early opportunity for Mark Williams. Screwed that First. slightly. He's just okay. 14. <coughs> 21. 22. Yeah, he's got a good angle. He may elect to go into them here, but he did talk in his interview before that he's changed his game slightly. He's going into the pack a lot sooner than he was previously. But this time, he's decided on the cannon. 29. 22. 29. Amazing. Mark Williams, 29. That's a worrying 29. sign for Mark Williams and his fans. And he's pushed that red out to leave it, but he hasn't missed many like that. That's a horrendous miss for Mark, and he knows it.
Lends itself very well to opening the pack up here and maybe staying on that loose red. He seems a bit reluctant to get the extended spider out, but definitely by having a go at this. And that's the extended spider that he's got, which will get him over a few more reds. It's an awkward implement to use. Yeah. <clears throat> it's also badly designed. It shouldn't be as high as that. There's no need for it to be any higher than the height of a ball. Clearance for that. A poor implement, in my opinion. Okay, if you raise the butt of the spider, the front goes down, but it's just far too high. It's so difficult to see right down the queue then. I would have experimented here with using spider and rest. Still, it's horrible. Now, what's he got now? Uh, he's now got the swan neck spider. Is it designed okay, Steve? Yes, this one's okay, yes. Thank you. May just have enough room, but hasn't got the reach. It's spider, it's spider and rest combined or opt out of the shot. Yep, the first player ever to do that. Camping Tower 8. Was the great man himself, Ray Reardon. slip past the green See that plant? Otherwise, he should have changed his shot. It, he couldn't play the plant, but he shouldn't have. Four. But he should have come up the table to see if there was a plant on. Bing Tao could convert this chance. It's a massive blood body blow for Mark Williams. 21. And he'll know he should have been more aware. Nicely placed. 28. On this red, correct side of it. 29. Just needs need a little bit of care. 37. 45. Pink's the much easier pot. Fifty-one. Discounted. Fifty-two. As a possible world champion. Coming in very much under the radar, but he's not playing like that here. 59. Well, 60. That's the second frame. Safe. So we had a 62 break in the previous frame. Yeah, body blow for Mark Williams. He's on the ropes now. 67. 68. This will be a. An excellent positional shot if he gets on the yellow it's only really available into the right corner if he lands on the brown he's okay 75. Split perfection yeah he's got everything this player 77. tactician and a wonderful cueist and a superb break builder 84. Yeah. 89. You can teach technique. 
but you can't teach temperament. Sometimes you can learn it with experience, but it's great to have it at an early age. What a fantastic century break. Yang Bing Tao rolls the black in and goes into a 10-8 lead. As Mark Williams walks off just to regain his composure. If this completely if he gets away with this he's very fortunate that was a total miss hit he was trying to thin to come off two cushions and back up the table normal spider so we've seen all three spiders Nine. in operation so far That's the extended spider the swan neck spider and that normal spider there it's okay 17. This is tricky. Yeah, it's not nice. 24. It's enough of an angle, this is missable. 25. Out of position. A little bit. Excellent recovery. Is he on anything? Yes, one to the middle pocket. 32. Not ideal, but he'll settle for it. Maybe one into the green pocket as well. Can roll through for the blue. Plays the one in the middle. He's going to leave himself maybe distance. Can play for the black as well. 33. Brave shot. Forty. Forty-one. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Fifty-seven. Sixty-four. That's a good effort from Mark here. Couple more reds. Sixty-five. This will settle him down no end. Kept it straightforward there. It didn't risk playing the black with side to leave a, an easier pot. 73. Just the black needed. And very well played. 80. One of, one of the best players under pressure in the game. But the standard in the three opening frames. And that's pretty good stuff you're watching you. here this afternoon. Ninety-six. Ninety-seven. Absolutely fantastic. And have a look at the cannon on the red as well. Unbelievable shot. <laughs> I don't know who he was signaling to in the crowd, but he held his finger up as if to say, did you like that one? <laughs> Just coming at the right time. 
110. Vital for the rest of the session. 130. Getting to a nice, nice rhythm with great freedom and confidence. 117. 122. Yeah, totally agree. It's always been a fantastic decision made on the table. 128. Well, what a standard these two players are treating us to here this afternoon. That magnificent break. It's 10-9. Slides, it's dangerous. Good shot. Oh, a bit of a tempt. Oh, great shot from Mark Williams there. One. <laughs> Five. And five needs to pull up. He's had a bit of a result here. Very fortunate. Well, that's a, that's a wide. <laughs> I've never seen the ball miss by so far. He hit it that hard. And, you know, he hasn't left a sitter. didn't reach, he needed a snooker. And it's Seven. down to the best of five. Mm. Thirteen. Doesn't matter about that. Williams, thirteen. Missed red. Yeah, Jan Bintar signals to the referee. Fabulous four frames of snooker. There's nothing to pick between these players. They're all square. Didn't want the bump. Oh, how's his luck? Oh, Big Tao has a chance, but on first glance, a really tough positional shot. How on earth does he get on the colour? Pot the red in the middle pocket and somehow <coughs> break open the pink. Trust the luck. This red into the right corner. Very difficult to get the cue ball out to the blue. One. It fought long and hard, but what a gap is found there for the cue ball. Wow, that had to be so precise. Does the black go through the gap? Obviously not another excellent attempt. He's got too much on this though, needs a bit of help. Five. He'll settle for that. Might go into that pocket, but he'd have to get on the other red to the right corner to leave that available. This looks pretty good. I have to play for the blue here, but it's developing Eight. into not a bad chance. Now we can do something about the, the black spot area. He couldn't have placed that cue ball better. 14. He's been very patient here and he's worked these out very nicely indeed. 21. Over, overrun that a fraction. 
Nice recovery. And the red is available into the same pocket. 29. As this red's gone. 30. If he's nicely on the black, he can just stun up past that and leave that red. Makes sure and pushes the cue ball through. 38. Maybe straight on the black. Well, no, he's got a slight angle. Yeah, if he can run round into that sort of position or somewhere near there, he's got the red right next to his hand. A lot of top spin required here. Has he hit it hard enough though? Well, the one at the back, he's come up a bit short, but the other one's available. Yeah, I, in a way that was a clever shot not to risk losing the white ball. Sacrificed a straight pot for a realistic cut. Jan Bintel, 45. One. How's your luck, Mark? Looks a bit piercy. Eight. Yeah, he wanted to be on the left of the two reds. Wait. <laughs> surely not. Surely not the the plant in the middle pocket with with an element of safety, Dennis. Wow. If he misses it, that first red could go somewhere near the yellow pocket, but. come back and he's a thin cut for Bing Tao here. Maybe if he was in front in the frame he wouldn't have gone for it but needed to get back in to the match. Into the frame. One. Didn't know much about the cue ball there Bing Tao but a nice pot. Has he hit it hard enough? Just about. He wanted to up Eight. past the ball colours. Yeah, I wonder if he actually played to clip the reds. Otherwise, why not hit it harder? Young Bintao. Eight. Annoyance there from Bintao. Wasn't a gimme. One. Oh, that needs to pull up. Oh, he's going to take the brown. What a shot this will be. <laughs> Has he got the cannon? It's a great effort. Oh, I don't think he can get through to the potting angle. Fine. No, doesn't go. Oh, he might be able to play it with a trace aside. Oh, so risky. I don't think it... Oh. He's swerving it. I thought it was dangerous. He Mark need, Williams, five. He needed more side spin on to flick the red to the right. Once again, having to play catch up forces a more positive shot. One. red goes does it or has he played for the single red he didn't risk the cannon he's 48 Eight. so he needs the red and the black he got away with it though in one respect not a great safety from Mark, maybe that's all he could do. Everything in open play, all the colours on their spots. Doesn't want to collide with the brown here. And another chance for a counter attack from Mark Williams. Mark Williams shot where he just floats the ball into the pocket. Oh, 
This could be a massive turning point. A frame Bing Tao should have won. And Three. he fears the worst. Four. Yeah, dead straight. Ten. Eleven. Doesn't look nice now, does it? Could go wrong, this. He could play a, a really nasty snooker, but that's not on his mind, really. He wants to try and win the frame here and now. And the shot wasn't there, so that's what he's done. Seventeen. Make the snooker as difficult as possible. Mark Williams, 17. That's the shot. But look where the black is. If the black wasn't there, he might have a go at that. Problem is, he needs maybe some separation between cue ball and red so maybe the two cushion escape with pace but he doesn't want to leave a free ball this is very dodgy this way is awkward because of the black what an effort well no miss mark williams four well the way he played no chance of a free ball so he's having to put a trace aside on it because of the black Great effort. Great effort. And what a result he's had here. A brilliant escape, but what a bit of good fortune to fluke the snooker back. Similar for Mark, trying to get distance between the balls, and once again, a fantastic outcome. Look at that, there's always a gap. In this stage, when you're escaping from snookers, not only is the line important, but the pace you play it at can increase your chances of the outcome being positive. Oh, where's the red going? Where is the red ball going? Can you believe it? He's left himself a little bit further away from the brown than he wanted. Made sure of the brown. And now this is a tough Five. one. Less pressure on Seven. the yellow because he was at the snooker's required stage. Still that one sealed the frame. Were happening. Mark didn't quite 19. get the angle and he led the snooker. Yan Bing Tao fluked the snooker back, but what the fluke on the red. We'll be absolutely delighted. It was all tense towards the end, but he gets himself back into the lead again. And straight away. You know what Mark Williams is going to do here. He's going to try and knock this long red in and get on the black. One. Great opening response Eight. to the disappointment of the last frame. Mark, but 
when you're Vegetable. playing well, you don't hear anything next door. 33. Lost the cue ball a bit for the black. Caught the wrong side of it. 40. Needed at least a four ball. 41. Not as risky as it Mark looked Williams, as he 41. covered the pocket. to try and push the yellow safe there. Good at that type of shot. Smash the yellow into the pack and screw back behind the brown. That would be a monster shot. Can't do it though. Too risky. Wouldn't know where any of the reds were going. Or did he try it? Jan Bintao, Clever one. effort. <laughs> He's pushed one over there. But is there a path through to it? There is. Dennis, it's not the worst chance in the world to clear the table here, is it? Eight. Nine. And that's not the best positional shot he's ever played. Tough. Very tough green to keep this break going. He's going for it. Jan Bintao, nine. Is he going to get away with this? Not quite. One. That's a Mark Williams special where he floats the ball into the pocket. Yeah, he made that red look a lot easier than it was. Playing at the speed he played it at. Six. It was easy for that red to go thick. Seven. Fourteen. Fifteen. That's the frame safe. Well, we thought this might go to a deciding frame. <laughs> Didn't Mark really matter Williams, about missing the red. Yan Bing Tao just nods to the referee and he concedes and it's 11 frames all. Good effort. I think he's got away with it. It's such a thin contact that he needs. Well, he's convinced himself he can cut this back. One. Is he on the yellow? And he may have to play this with a trace of side. 
Uh, he did do, and it's going to be awkward. Couldn't have finished in a worse position, Three. that cue ball. Boy, this is tough. Well, Mark in the Williams end, I'm not three. sure. I think he just played a safety shot, but has he misjudged it? Oh, he, he almost missed the red altogether. It was a thin one, but well, a little bit of tension certainly creeping in now. A little bit of a risk if he pots this that the cue ball goes in the right center pocket it's on its way steve it's on its way good call well, Bit unlucky really because he played it at a gentle pace but you spotted it Me. From Mark's perspective, he'll be happy that the balls look relatively safe, though. Can't quite see where he's going to get a positional shot well through a gap for the red in the right corner. Yeah, not close. Three. <coughs> Young Bintao, three. got the red safe but he's got the cue ball safe oh that's a nice little flick on the broad but it was a, an extremely well played shot anyway yeah he's a, he's a great safety player Bing Tao there's another area of the game that for a younger player these days seems to be one of the final parts of the jigsaw puzzle of working the game out. Bing Tao's a fantastic all-rounder already. Two or three cushions to lay on a red behind the black spot. It's a pretty good effort. It's a wonderful effort. It's a brilliant shot. It's in the mind games of not allowing your opponent even a sniff at a chance of a red. He should be able to get this cue ball somewhere behind the yellow. Pace is important. This time, well, how close is it to the brown? Can he get through to the potting angle? Because he will. But mind you, have a look at the table. Where does he finish on a colour? Pink's tied up. He'll be running away from the black. The blue's off its spot. Where's the value in uh, yeah. knocking this one in? One. It's a wonderful pot, as we showed to you again, tight on the cushion, but there was very little he could play on. And the yellow will get him back to the reds. I'll tell you what, if he makes a few from yeah. this position, it'll be very, very special. He's got a chance. He's got a chance to get on the black. It was a great opening red. Just drops this in. Four. And you never know, a couple of good pots and positional shots. Is this a chance? Eleven. Yeah, Yang Bing Tai would have been sitting in his seat and he would have been thinking, well, there's not much on here. 
look at the table now. Nineteen. What a frame to win from that position this would be for Mark Williams. If there's a two ball plant, that helps things as well. Twenty eight. Plant looked on. 35. It's the red that will develop. The ones near the pink. Well, they seem to just stick a little bit. And that's coming up a long way short. 43. A snatchy one from Mark there. Didn't really complete the backswing as well as he would have liked. He could have played for the plant. You can keep the break going with this green. Great shot. Forty seven. Look where the white's finished. Possible 59 points on the table there with four reds left. This is tough. 40. Safely in. And he's got the cannon. What a shot that was. Never ceases to amaze me, this player. Some of the shots he's pulled out in this break, everything looks safe. And he's going to win the frame from it. Unbelievable. 50. Monster clearance this is. It's probably one of the best clearances 63. this year in the Betfred World Championship. Under the circumstances, 64. there looked to be absolutely nothing available. Chance to keep the break going. Doesn't 66. really matter. Frame closer to the finishing line. Doesn't really matter that the red's not going in. That was an unbelievable break. Mark Williams is just one frame away from a place in the semi final. Yes, everybody's getting excited here. In the previous frame, Mark Williams knocked it in and got on the black. Can he do it again? Not this time. And he's left the red up. One. Ooh, that could have been better from Bing Tao. Potted that in the wrong part of the pocket. So a missable black now, having to try and keep position as well. Lost the cue ball. Can he get past the pink? Eight. Jan Bintel, eight. He can take it on and stay on the black, but he'd have to be not only precise with the pot, but also with the cue ball. Oh, where's the red going? Where's that red ball going? One. Well, he certainly forced it in. He 
he's not hearing anything at the moment. He's fully concentrated here. He knows this is a, an excellent opportunity. Absolutely brilliant composure from Mark Williams, shutting out all of the excitement on the other table. 16. He's been the player of the tournament so far. Can he turn this round? If he does win this match, who's to say he doesn't 17. win the World Championship? If he keeps the form going. There's only two more 24. possible pots. Oh, is 25. he going to come up a bit short? No, it's gone past the potting angle. You might have to run it around off a couple of cushions to get to it. And here it comes. How's your luck, Mark? It's not good unless there's a plant there. There's distance between these reds. You can make the plant. And he'd be on the black. It's the perfect angle for that. that plant came to the rescue 39 yeah we've always raved about Ronnie O'Sullivan wow the bounce off the cushion what happened there it's the first time maybe some chalk on the cue ball made the cushion bounce harder oh, that wasn't his fault there's still a possibility, but this is tough. You can get on the black if you can slot this in. It's there. What a shot. 47. It's on the black, but not perfectly on the black. Well, dear, oh dear. The last couple of frames. 54 has been awesome the clearance in the previous one was incredible and this is quite amazing from the Welshman and just let his natural talent flow never even looked at the finishing line 63 well I've watched him since he turned professional but I'll tell you what he's played as good a snooker in this year's Betfred World Championship and I've ever seen him play <laughs> they've been treated to some wonderful 17. snooker here this afternoon 71 and he was up against a very tough opponent who has pushed him all the way yeah he didn't do a lot wrong Bing Tao it's just been a master class from Mark Williams of how to close out a match the double to keep the break going but he won't care if it goes in or not. Mark Williams. Yang Bing Tao will come forward. What an incredible quarterfinal. Smiles all around. But Mark Williams take a bow as he acknowledges the crucible crowd. The two last frames he's played were unbelievable. And he gets himself into the semi-final for the seventh time. And he eventually runs out a winner. 13-11.